a little bit cold this morning boys a little bit cold <laughs> What is going on today guys? My name's Alex, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got something special lined up. We got the 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon and just ahead of me here, we got a pretty snowy hill. And if you remember last week, I ended up getting this truck a little bit stuck going up here. So we've come back on the weekend to freaking conquer this hill. Obviously the Power Wagon is wonderful off-road and uh, that's gonna be a big help, but I got some tricks up my sleeve, so I'll show you those right now. Number one, we got some tire chains. Only one set. I thought about getting two, but they're kind of pricey. So I got one set of tire chains. I'll probably actually put those on right away. Uh, number two, I have the ability to lock up both front and rear diffs in, unfortunately, four low. I know four low is not the best for snow. You kind of want more tire speed. So we might try and stay in four high and just lock the rear diff. Number three, we got some freaking traction boards here. If we really get into it, who knows if we need it? Who knows if they even help? Number four, if you know anything about power wagons, they come with a 12,000 pound winch here. So uh, we will break that out if we are extremely stuck. That is kind of the last case scenario. Actually, no, that's not true. What is true is that we have number five here and that is this lovely shovel. Um, <laughs> if we get so stuck, the winch can't pull us or more likely the winch um, has a battery or low voltage cutoff. Um, so if we really need to use that winch quite a bit, um, it might actually shut down because I think there's only one battery in this truck. Anyways, last case scenario, we got the shovel um, if we need it, hopefully. So this is the hill we're going to conquer. Obviously, um, it doesn't look too deep, but you can't really see at the very top. It gets windswept, so there's quite a bit of drifting over top and there's some deep, um, pretty thick snow. That stuff's kind of been um, thawed and frozen and thawed and frozen, so it makes it pretty thick and just hard to get through. So. Going up here will be pretty easy, but once we get to the top, that is where the test will be. All right, so the plan is just to put this thing in drive and move these tires just a little bit forward, obviously, and hopefully bring this around. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are screaming, saying that's not the right way to do it. You're probably right. I probably don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've only used these a couple times. Uh, when I was up in the mountains in BC, I used them a little bit. But... So I think that actually didn't go so bad. So what we're gonna do is we'll wrap this thing back up and hook them up to the top here. Probably have to get on the inside of it to do it. As you can see, they're aggressive chains, right? You can get some that don't have these V-bars on them. They're just chain. We went with the aggressive ones. <laughs> so hopefully it gives us a good bite on the trail. Chains make a world of a difference. Try to get some speed here. Come on, baby.
Well, I did it again. We are pretty beached up here. Those chains, they dig and dig and dig. It's just, we are right down to the axle. Look at that pile behind the mud flap there. This side's a little bit better, but uh, not by much. And then that front wheel's probably just sliding, so. I think it's time for our friend the winch. Oh yes! Got some jerry rig stuff to this tree. I don't know how long this cable is. I should probably do more research on that to be honest. But uh, I kind of wasn't expecting to use the winch. I thought those chains would uh, be all we needed, but obviously not. So we got the winch controller here. <laughs> Oh God, what have I got myself into? So, I mean, we're getting somewhere. It's definitely pulling us. Uh, but you guys can see, that's the differential scrape. And so like, we're right up to the axles here. Not sure to what the move is because all the way up is like this. And uh, she can't get up on her free wheel. I don't think we can just winch all the way up there. I guess we'll keep winching here and see, see what happens. We got ourselves out of that big hole there. We're still kind of in a little bit of a hole. If I can keep going here, I'll keep going. Um, if I just start bearing up again here, I think I'm going to concede to defeat for the second time. So yeah, we'll see what this power wagon's got. Nope, we don't have it today. Well, you can see the chains did what they're supposed to do. Look how freaking sharp these things are. And uh, even with that, it's a no-go. We got uh, the axles are just into the freaking ground, basically. Um, this side isn't so bad. This side, like, I know it looks not that deep, but it's because sleds have ridden down and like, there you go. All right, so this truck is just too heavy and the tires aren't wide enough that we're just sinking her into the abyss. 
we're gonna back her out guys some of you guys might be wondering what about the traction boards it's the same thing i mean i'm sure they would work but you know they're only a couple feet long so i'd have to traction board traction board traction board because this thing is just sinking and uh the snow is just too deep you know here comes the serious part are we going to be able to back this thing out i think so the hill obviously we're going with gravity now not against it and i think these chains are going to be pretty grabby obviously i'm a little bit of a rut here a hole sorry i think these chains will just grab and pull out that's the hope anyways i've been wrong every time so far today but uh we'll see if that streak continues So unfortunately, we are 0 for 2 on this little hill here. The snow is just not the right conditions. It's super stiff and just chunky. Um, if it's just fresh powdery snow, this thing could probably blow right through it. But that snow has been out there for probably two months and it's thawed and frozen a couple times and it just gets real rock hard. And it kind of gives the illusion that it's not that deep except when you start to dig down, which is exactly what we did. And we kind of ended up right on the axles and unfortunately i don't have bigger tires on this truck yet um that would have really helped as well as some wider tires and a lighter vehicle something like maybe a jeep dare i say dare i say if you think your truck could make it up there and i know again it doesn't look that difficult you're out to lunch um there's no fucking way this power wagon with four-wheel drive rear differential locked and chains on the back couldn't do it for now we're gonna leave this alone i think if i really wanted to get up there i could take a run on it down this road zip up here maybe hit that uh road maybe like 50 60k an hour and just pin it and it probably could make to the top however that road goes back down and who knows if i can make it back up i'm disappointed i i kind of thought for sure i'd make that no problem but this power wagon is just fun to fool around with off-road uh, there's so many cool features and i have fun making videos like this hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave that thumbs up and if you like cool stuff like this don't forget to subscribe I got lots of cool stuff playing with Power Wagon. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you guys want to support the channel, there'll be a link down below. Um, but as always, enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video.